another mistake that I see people making is buying a franchise that doesn't have a track record of success yet. So recently we had someone that uh, we do these, uh, these group calls for people that are in our zero to profitable franchise system. This is where they get to, uh, uh, I'll answer their questions. They get to learn from some of the other franchisees and someone came on and said, Hey, Tark, yeah, I'm looking at this uh, plumbing franchise and like, what do you think? And this is what I'm thinking. I, you know, I really like it. And turns out they only have one franchisee. And so I said, the question I asked, I said, Hey, uh, this guy's name, let's call him Tim. I said, Tim, just curious, let's take a step back for a second. What was one of the reasons that you wanted to buy a franchise in the first place. And he said to me, well, because it's got to prove in, I, you know, I wanted to go with something that has like a recognizable brand and that they've already figured it out and they have the system and, and, you know, they have a, they have a blueprint for me, essentially. I'm like, okay, cool. Does a franchise with one franchisee, do you think you're going to get all those things? He's like, no. (laughs) <laughs> I'm like, exactly. So the biggest benefit with a franchise is that there are 10, 20, there are dozens of other franchisees, if not hundreds of other franchisees that have proven the model works, that it's been established. So, you know, if you really want to help ensure your success and put yourself in the best position possible, then take a look at franchises that have an actual track record. Now, that's not to say that emerging franchise franchises are bad or a bad idea. It's just a different level of risk tolerance. If, if you're really wanting to make sure that, hey, I pretty much know what I'm getting into, then you want to buy something with a, with a track record. And nowadays, there's I see people making the mistake of buying these franchises that are growing really fast. They're selling hundreds of territories a year. Franchisees you know, aren't able to open them that quickly, as quick as they're selling them. And then people start getting FOMO, fear of missing out. They start buying franchises because they hear that someone else is going to buy them. And then all of a sudden you hear a year or two later how, you know, franchisees aren't doing well or they're frustrated or they're unhappy because either the franchise is always growing too fast and they don't have the support. Or it turns out the business model wasn't that proven because the whole time they were selling all those franchises based on the the track record of like one or two franchisees in a specific market. And it turns out it doesn't duplicate over the country. Right. So uh, that's, that's another, that's another mistake that I, that I see for sure. Buying a franchise that doesn't have a track record of success. If you enjoyed this short clip from the podcast, you can check out another short clip right here. Or if you want to watch the full episode of this podcast, you can watch that here. And remember knowledge is not power. It's applied knowledge that's power. Take care. Have a great rest of your day.